Oh, this thing rolling. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, T.O. with the T. And I am back at it with another video. So, uh, well, it's not really a... Well, it is a video. It's like a vlog video update, whatever. But, y'all, don't judge me. Go judge your mama. I know how my hair looks. I know how everything looks. Okay? So, let's just nip that in the bud. Go judge your mama. Okay. We got that out of the way. But I wanted to come give y'all an update. So I broke my ankle on December 12th. Um, guess how? And I'm in a cast now. So when I went to the hospital on December 12th, I had got a splint. Uh, I did state that in my last little vlog that I had made. I had got a splint. That stayed on literally for two days. It stayed on for, I don't even think it stayed on that, that long. It stayed on for like a day and a half. So I went Monday, which was the 14th. I went to the podiatrist, which is a foot and ankle doctor. And I got, um, I got more x-rays and stuff like that. And, um, I got into a cast. So the prescription that I was on from the hospital was hydrocodone. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Hydrocodone, hydrocodone, drugs. Yeah, narcotics. I was on one of those, and I was on regular ibuprofen 800 for swelling. So, I got to keep this on for four weeks. So, for this cast, I don't know if I could flip the camera. Oh, I just took a picture. Mm -mm. But, just to show y'all, I got to be in this cast for four weeks. So, four weeks with this cast, I go back to the podiatrist and... They will go ahead and decide whether they want to put me in another cast for the remaining two weeks or if they want to put me in a boot for the remainder two weeks. It's completely up to them. So whatever they will decide. How I've been feeling. Hmm. Today has been one of the best days that I have slept. Well, last night. Last night was one of the best nights I have ever slept so good like that with this cast. Cause it was like I couldn't lay my foot down. I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing but just pop it up and just lay on my back, and I didn't like that. So last night I was able to kind of like prop my prop my left leg up on a pillow and then have like the bottom part have like the bottom part on a pillow as well. I'm sorry about my lighting. If it look a little dull and fuzzy and fuzzy, excuse me. But, um, yeah, I slept real good last night, and I was able to, like, lay my ankle, like, basically, like, just lay, like, the whole leg to the side, to the other side without it really hurting. So, that's that. Um, have I gained any weight? I know a lot of people, when they break bones and they can't walk and stuff like that. Yes, I did gain weight. I went from 136 to about 140. That's where I'm at right now. All of that will go away. All that weight will go away when when I start back working out and exercising and all that good stuff. What else? I don't want to forget anything. Um, the pain. What's the pain level? The pain level that I was having before was like on a scale from well, on a scale from one to ten. I know I should not be doing my hair like this. It needs to be conditioned and all that. And I need to get a haircut. That's what I need. Back to my story. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would say about an, a 10. I woke up a couple nights crying and just, just couldn't bear the pain. The narcotic that I took did not work. I was just in pain. Literally, I went to sleep in pain. Woke up in pain. It was just horrible. I even woke up in and out of sleep, still in pain. But... Everything turned out good. Um, I do have crutches. They're on the side of me. They have to be wherever I am unless I can't walk or get around like how I'm supposed to get around uh, hopping like a bunny rabbit. But um, that's just about it. Aaron, my boyfriend, has been taking great care of me, cooking for me, bringing me stuff. Um, I do have a Bubba water bottle, so it has a lid on it. And I can go and get me something to drink and hop back to the room with that. It has like a lid and a tiny little handle. So I could kind of like wrap the handle around my fingers and hop back to the room. 
but other than that, healing is going pretty good. And I have I have no complaints for today. Today, honestly, it's not the day I even know what it is. Only what like two something going on to. So today is December twenty third. I'm having a good day with pain. And yeah, I just wanted to just keep y'all updated. Sorry that my lighting sucks, like but but this is pop pop. I know you guys like pop pop. He got his mouth open. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Regulating that body heat. But y'all, I'm gonna do something with my hair. Christmas is coming up. There's really nothing wrong with it. It literally just needs some water and my favorite product that does wonders for my hair child. But other than that, that's just what's going on right now. I'll probably check back in with y'all tonight if I do have like any kind of pain and stuff like that. Be sure that if you do break your ankle or if you break your foot, your heel, I don't even know how you could break your heel, heel. But if you do break a bone, you need to elevate that foot, that leg. It needs to be elevated. And I know that you don't want to elevate it for like the first, the first couple of days because it's annoying. Like, like at the at the too much elevation for me, my leg started to hurt. Like, like the actual ankle itself started to hurt real bad. So I couldn't elevate that long no more. Then I noticed like holding my leg like how it is now. When I showed y'all earlier in the video, how it is now, it has no support. It's not hurting at all. Um. I also got concerned when my cast got really, really loose. Like, I was able to almost stick my whole hand in there. And I have a small hand. I was almost able to stick my whole hand in, inside of my cast. And I thought that that was weird. So, when my cast was put on, there was uh, little to no swelling. And then once I started hopping around, you know not elevating it properly because I did go through that I wasn't elevating it properly and it resulted in the cast getting tighter around just just everywhere like it, it was just tight like it just felt real tight and when I elevated it for a while it got back loose so I, I guess it's supposed to be like that so when it get you know when it when it swells up and stuff like that but other than that I'm doing good um I'll be seeing a podiatrist in the next three weeks, one week down. It's a long journey, I know. It's a very, very long journey. But everything gonna work itself out. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned with me. And that's about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up.